Hey everyone, it's Greg from Stationary Shenanigans. In this video, I'm going to do an unboxing from The Gentleman's Stationer, and I'm really looking forward to this. I've been kind of just looking around on our website and reading their blog over the past few months, and decided once I move and finish up my master's degree, I was gonna do a little shopping at The Gentleman's Stationer, kind of like as a graduation gift to myself. So the funny thing was, I had just moved to Tennessee, and I didn't realize until I received the package from them that the Gentleman's Stationer is actually located in Tennessee. So I guess this counts as supporting local business, which is also awesome. So haven't opened it up at all yet. Um, I'm just going to open it and go through each item to kind of share with you all. I purposely tried to pick things that I've never seen elsewhere or were just more unique. Um, and I'm just super excited, so let's just do it. Okay, and awesome, there's a little note to the Gentleman Stationer, TGS Curated Shop. He says, many thanks for your, I think, support. It looks like you've written on a fountain pen. This is from Lamy Paper, so that's cool. Um, let's just dump it all out here. Well, they packed it really well, which is awesome. <laughs> and it looks like, okay, that's it. it. Looks like they sent me this awesome TGS button. Is that the word? Button. Um, and a TGS sticker, so we love that. And let's just go through each thing. First things first, this is a A4 size, what do they call it? writing mat and I got it in this kind of like, I guess it's kind of green color. Um, I kind of like this because not only is it just um, a smaller writing mat, but it also serves as like a desk pad. So you can have it this way, that way, I don't know. I just, I never seen this one before and thought I'd give it a try. So let's open it up to see kind of how it feels. It's made in Japan and the company is Orion's. Yeah, so I've never, I've never seen this, so. Again, that was my goal to try to buy different things, and it is like a nice, soft plastic. Um, yeah, so I thought this would be nice to have. This would probably really come in handy too when you're traveling, because it, it just is an A4 size. So, got that. Next up we got, now this was totally new to me. I'd never seen it before until I went on their website, which is why I was so excited for it. This is Laconic Tokyo. Um, it's like a notebook system. Here, if you can see that. Um, and I've never heard of Laconic before. So I bought two notebooks and a notebook cover to try out. So let's go ahead and open up the notebook so I can show you. And there are different options. So this is a spreadsheet notebook. And what it is, it's kind of just like an Excel sheet, but a notebook form. And I thought this would be really interesting to kind of track some things, or even if you wanted to do like a daily comic in a little square. Some of you have watched my videos where I do my little cat drawing in my traveler's notebook. And I just thought that was interesting to try out. And this one is called Think. And it's kind of like, it has different things to help you plan stuff. So um, it's supposed to like spark your creativity and your thinking. So this is like mandala squares with a memo section. And then there's this coordinate axis with a memo section, um, concentric chart. So it's like a circular chart to help you think of stuff. I don't know, this is just really cool. And then in the end here, it's the four panels memo. So it kind of looks like a little comic setup, but um, yeah. And also on their website, they um, give suggestions on different ways to use the different notebooks, and I thought that was kind of cool. And then I purchased a cover to go with it. I got it in black. It, the cover itself was very retro to me, which is why I liked it. <laughs> so it has some instructions here. Style notebook cover. Um, it looks like you just put um, one side of the notebook in each part. Actually, and I'm guessing you take out the cardboard, yep, that it comes with. Here's our Think Notebook. And then... Just 
spreadsheet notebook. And this is kind of like a vinyl feel to it and it does have this clear pocket. So you can see it's like conic, I don't know if you can see that. Um, yeah, I really like this. I thought it was so different. I like the look of it. I like the size of it. It's made in Japan again. Um, let me know in the comments below if you've ever used or heard of Laconic Tokyo, because I certainly have not. I was definitely excited for that. The next thing I got was this Midori memo block. Um, I never really saw the memo blocks before. I have some Midori, Midori notebooks, of course. Um, but I got it in grid, and I thought this would be really great to have at my new desk setup in my apartment, or possibly take it to my desk on campus and just have some nice fountain pen friendly paper to take notes in, and then I can either you know write write it and give it to someone, or um, put it in my planner or whatever. And this was like a really good size too. I wonder if it has the dimensions on here. Um, no, but it, as you can tell, it is a big square. So I was excited for that. And I did get some writing implements that I wanted to try. First up, this is the Karandash Edelweiss pencil. And I've seen these before, but I've never had one. It's just an HB made in Switzerland. And I thought it would be nice just to try. I do love um, wooden pencils. And this one kind of just feels very classic. So got that. And then this, I really wanted to try. This is from Antarique, and they have all different kinds now, but this is kind of a gorgeous a ballpoint pen, also made in Japan, with kind of this like rose gold trim. Um, there's a bunch of different colors. I just went with the green. I'll probably order more colors because they just all looked so awesome, and it's just like a classic ballpoint. This, to me, is just very classic. So I wanted to try that. And I think we're down to the main event here. Many of you have suggested that I try a Twisby fountain pen and I have never done so and we are going to change that here. So I ordered a Twisby Ego. Zoom in a little bit more. I ordered a Twisby Eco in, I believe it's called Saffron Yellow. And I was always kind of nervous because the whole tools and all that stuff about a piston fill pen makes me nervous, um, but we're just going for it. So it has the instructions here. I'm gonna look into that later. And I believe I got it in fine. Yes, I got it in fine. And here it is. I really like the yellow color. I was just kind of thinking about how when you have this kind of pen, you don't have to worry about cartridges or a converter. And then there's a lot of room for the ink. So I'm excited to try this. Look at that. Um, definitely doing that. And then I also didn't know that Twisby makes their own bottled ink. So, since I was buying a Twisby fountain pen, we had to try a Twisby ink. It is the emerald green color. Um, I figured the green and yellow would look nice. Green's also my favorite color, and this you know bottle of ink is very nice looking. It's 18 milliliters. I felt like I didn't need anything bigger than that. So that is my little haul from the Gentleman's Stationer. I was so excited to try to order from them, and I'm gonna try all these items out and let you know. Again, let me know if you have used any of these items. Um, also keep in mind that the Gentleman's Stationer does have periodic sales. They had a Memorial Day sale where I got a discount on some of these items, which is why I wanted to make sure I ordered them before the sale ended. So you can either follow them on social media or um, check out their website or their blog postings, really interesting. And thank you so much for joining me today and I will see you next time. Take care. Thank you.